All right, here's another uh, launcher review. Um, this is Go Launcher EX. Um, <clears throat> it's going to show you a bunch of the different features on here. This thing is loaded with stuff. It's pretty cool. One of my favorites. Um, so first thing I'm going to show you here is just the folders. That's how you open a the folder there. Ooh, see that transition? It's pretty cool. You can uh, open it like a ball. Now you can change that too. I'll show you some more. Here's another folder. Just how the folders open and close. So that's pretty cool. Uh, neat little setting there. This uh, widget up here for the weather that comes with it. Um, you can also download some of these other ones. See, it shows you to download them uh, if you want them. Uh, pretty nice. This thing has uh, themes. It has like this Go. Here, I'll show you this. This is uh, <clears throat> the Go Launcher. <clears throat> there it is. Different stuff you can put on here. Right here, Go Launcher Store. That's what I was trying to do. There it is, Go Launcher Store. So it has its own, like almost like a market kind of thing. Different stuff you can download for it there. Um, let me show you some other settings on this that are pretty good. Oh, you also have this. You can slide down here. So it makes your dock bigger, which is pretty cool. Um, so let's show you some other settings on this, though. We'll go down here. Uh, themes. So you got some themes you could download um, and theme your phone. I'm going to show you one right here. I'm just going to do the ice cream sandwich theme I already have downloaded. We'll apply that really quick. Oh, there you go. So now it's ice cream sandwich looking, but still got the, the same transitions, which is pretty cool. Um, let's see what other ones we can go. Let's go to preferences here. And then we'll look at visual. So... Um, you can change your fonts, your backgrounds, icons. So icons, we'll go to icons, and we're gonna do uh, your dock ice cream, uh, dock icons. So they're currently ice cream sandwich. Maybe we want to go back to what they were. We can hit that, and uh, and go back here, and then our icons will be back to what they were before, with still with the ice cream sandwich theme though. So some nice little things there and our preferences. Um, so yeah, you can adjust any of that stuff, fonts, uh, indicators, um, pretty much anything you can uh, tweak on it. So a lot of customization on this. Let's go to screen settings. Um, auto rotation is on. You can change your grid so you can have more icons, less icons. Um, <clears throat> you can take your icon labels right here and you can hide them. Show with background. You can do whatever you want with those for your icon labels. Uh... So you got that, you got loop mode on, show dock is on, different settings there. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Um, app drawer settings, uh, orientation, mine's, mine's uh, horizontal right now on loop, but you can adjust it. Vertical, continuous, horizontal, page by page, whatever you want to do. Um, let's see what else we got. So different different things you can do here. Show labels in your app drawer. Show a search bar in your app or a search button in your app drawer. Um, let's go visual effects. All right, so here, this is the coolest thing right here. This is the transitions. This is what I like playing with. I think it's pretty cool. They got a lot of choices. This is the sphere transition. Like you saw, it's a ball when you scroll the screens. So we'll show you a couple other ones. I haven't played with all these yet. Um, let's do shutter. And uh, we'll try that one. All right, so that's what it looks like when you have the shutter one. Let's try to check another one. Transitions. Um, try. Uh, let's try the wave. Looks kind of cool. So that's your transition for the wave. I do like the sphere. I think the sphere is really cool. Let's try another one here. Um, cube, inside cube, is also an outside cube, so it's like you're in the cube and it's rotating, so, yep, pretty cool visual effects, um, the transitions is definitely the, one of the coolest things I have on here, um, <clears throat> you got horizontal transitions, you can change those also, if you want, default, so, 
some different different uh, different settings there. You got gesture actions, uh, home key actions, uh, glide up, glide down actions, double tap actions is disabled. Um, I think uh, glide up should be yeah functions. So I'll show you how that works. So if you push your screen up, there you go. It's basically like hitting the menu. So you have all these options right here. <clears throat> you also have plugins. If you want to download these, I don't have, I don't think any of these really downloaded right now. There, and then you got more. So share updates, um, different different stuff there. Um, so go back to preferences. Let's go to advanced settings. Um, high quality drawing just makes it your performance is going to go down, but you'll have better quality like visuals. Um, some different things here: persistent and system go launcher persistence. Um, transparent support transparent status bar. <clears throat> For some reason, it does not work on my ROM, um, but I think you can put that in there. And then your status bar will go transparent. Mine's black on the top. You can see it right now. Uh, so you got those settings. Um, let me show you some other ones in here that are pretty cool. Uh, let's see here. Ooh, right down here, this is kind of neat. You hit this little button right here, and then you have your uh, pictures, your music, and your video. And you just hit one of those, bam, you go right to those, those, any of those things without actually going to the gallery, or they're just automatically hooked in there. Oh, also, let me show you this. This is pretty neat, too. Um, anywhere that you have, let's see, right, um... That's got three on it. It's not showing me in here right now. If you have like an update that you you need to run an update, it'll say update in the corner of the icon in your app drawer. So that means that that app's ready to be updated. Kind of like this little three on the Go Store here. It'll do that. So pretty cool. Oh, right here. Let's try App Manager. This is pretty cool. This is built into this ROM or this uh, Go Launcher, I should say. So. Right here, these three are updated or need to be updated. These are other round or apps on your on there. And then this is stuff like they recommend for you, I guess. And then you got you can the things go into categories. Um, so these are all featured things that run with Go Launcher really well, I guess. It, it's cool. I, it, the app manager is pretty neat. It tells you on the bottom your internal um, and SD card space. So, yep, that's basically what it what it looks like. And you can see right here in your app drawer, you can see recent, you can see running. It, it figures that out for you. Um, so that it's pretty neat that that's app manager is built into this, into this thing. So, but yeah, there's the transition looks so cool. I just I like this doing like this and I like spinning it. Yeah, so really neat. Um, so this is Go Launcher uh, EX. Uh, definitely would recommend this launcher. Some of those features that come in it, you can buy more of them. You have to pay for them. Um, some of them, some of them are free. But you can do themes, all kinds of wallpapers, and it, it all comes down there. Let's see. I'll show you one more thing here. We for uh, yeah, adding widgets. This is how you would do it. Like add a widget on there. Say a clock. So you can add your widget. Move it around wherever you want to put it. So then go widgets. I have two of them on here right now. The other ones they're grayed out because they're not on. They're not. They're not downloaded. You can get them. I think most of those, these ones are free here. Um, also, you can do uh, wallpapers right here. Themes. You can get right here. You also got locker if you want to use locker on there. And then effects. You can just change things right here, your bounce effects and stuff. Here's themes. We'll go to themes. You can see your themes right here that you already have once they're downloaded. So it's an easy shortcut to get to some of these things. Um, pretty pretty sweet. Like I say, I really do like this uh, this launcher. So, so there you go, guys. That's, that's Go Launcher. Um, give it a try. Check it out. It's pretty fun. Thanks.